next uh, topic is uh, similar in nature. And since Chris is going to be presenting later, I'm not going to actually go through his full bio because um, that's just not, uh, not what I do. So canola for our advantage. We're going to look at the grower incentives from the Canola Council. And Chris, who is relatively new to the Canola Council, will uh, take on this brief presentation right before lunch. No pressure. I really enjoy going after the Manitoba Association of Watersheds just because it's a very similar program. It's underneath the same umbrella. So a lot of this stuff is going to be very familiar what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, thanks for letting me speak about the uh, Canola for Our Advantage program. And uh, I'm going to give a really quick quick overview on this. And then I'm going to give direct you guys to some resources after this. If you guys want to know more and uh, go through a webinar, we're actually going to be having um, a couple days now, I think, December 16th. So. So the purpose of this program is to encourage growers to initiate or advance for our nutrient stewardship practices. And I think we've all learned quite a bit about for our nutrient management over this past morning. And that's really, really great to see all this evidence-based, research-supported um, work being done for that. So for this program, we're looking at specifically nitrogen management. And what we're wanting to really emphasize on this is that this is something that's going to be able to help promote productivity and profitability on your farm while also moving the needle on that uh, all important uh, information on nitrous oxide emissions reduction. So these two do go hand in hand together quite well. So similar to the other programs, uh, growers can receive up to 85% uh, cost share of these BMPs that are being funded. You can get two BMPs per year. So and that's $6,000 that are eligible per BMP. So that's $12,000 total. And then if you're to also encompass that within all the other on-farm climate action fund programs, you can get up to $75,000 total throughout uh, when this program's duration uh, goes on for. So for the Canola Council of Canada, we're administering uh, this on specifically on nitrogen management. And that's going to be tied towards four BMPs that uh, we're including in. And that is soil testing, enhanced efficiency fertilizers, preferred application, and field zone mapping. And just a couple things to uh, take a look at. Uh, soil testing is taking a look at uh, kind of a basic soil testing package that includes your uh, nitrogen uh, sampling. And has sufficiency fertilizers, so we're taking a look at both the nitrification and urease inhibitors put together. Or also, this is a recent addition, um, late earlier, I guess mid this fall, uh, but also the ESN fertilizer as well. So that falls underneath that BMP. Preferred application, so that's deferring your application from fall into the spring or doing an in-crop split application. And field zone mapping, key thing to know about that is you need at least a minimum of two zones uh, to be eligible for that. So are your BMPs eligible? Most likely a lot of producers are actually already engaged in these, uh, but here's some key things to remember for that. Uh, these BMPs must be new for the selected fields, and the key for that is that it has to be uh, new in a 4R nutrient stewardship plan. So you can't have a 4R plan that's been conducted before for this. This is really about increasing the adoption of these practices to move that needle forward. Uh, funding can't be sought from another off-calf program. I think that was mentioned in our last presentation. And the el eligible BMPs can relate to either the 2022 season that we just had or also in the 2023 planting season coming up. And so I think I have in there in the fine print uh, the expenses must be fully paid by the grower between February 7th of, la of this year or March 31st of the upcoming year for the 2022 growing season. So we also kind of mentioned uh, previously before that the 4R nutrient stewardship program is really the core component of this off-calf program we're administering. And so having that plan from a 4R designated agronomist is crucial. And you can get your 4R designation as well as your CCA or PIG designation. You have to have both of those together. But um, kind of a silver lining here is that if you don't have a 4R nutrient stewardship plan yet, you can still apply to this program. Uh, you just have to complete that within the six weeks of actually initiating that application. So for a lot of the agronomists here, uh, your role as a 4R agronomist is to work with your growers to complete this plan, to start initiating that application. There's two sides to it. There's a grower side and an agronomist component. Uh, to complete the attestations that you are seeding that f those fields to canola, that those BMPs are actually being engaged in, and that those BMPs also meet the criteria and are carried out. 
So one of the last couple slides here is that we are gonna be having a webinar that details everything I explained today, as well as much, much more, how to actually initiate the application, how to work through the portal that we have online that you guys can find at our Canola Council website. And uh, I don't know if I put that QR code big enough for you guys to uh, take a screenshot in in the back, but you can also just go to our website to about us and events to uh, register for that. And I highly suggest you guys go to this. It'll be a great event that we have some uh, people from both the Canola Council as well as other producers that have experienced this program before to help us along and increase the adoption of it. And I'm just gonna leave it off. Uh, Steve Barron is also in the crowd here. I don't see him yet. Or... Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's way in the back there. Yeah, so we're talking a little bit about the 4R designation, and when we're looking at this, this certification is uh, offered by Fertilizer Canada, and I just have here a screenshot of the website that we have three different sections you guys are able to complete to get that designation. There are other 4R courses, but these are the three you need to be eligible for this program, and um, you could complete an afternoon. Really straightforward. You guys already know all this stuff. You guys are smart agronomists, and uh, get that certification there, and we can... Uh, keep moving forward with this uh, nitrous oxide emissions and uh, increasing productivity. So thank you. Yeah, I have two questions here quick from online for you, Chris. One is, is your event being repeated? So your, um, I'm guessing that question if I'm, if, for, for your webinar coming up. Uh, good question. I'm not, I don't know if it's going to be repeated. Hopefully it does but I'm hoping it will be recorded okay. for availability. Okay, but, perfect. Yeah, i have to check on that. The other question, it's more specific, but I'm gonna ask it in a more generic way. Is there a list of uh, eligible products, uh, like uh, nitrification inhibitors, that kind of thing, available? Yes, so on our uh, Canola Council website, we have a full list and it's up to date with all the nitrification and urease inhibitor products that can be combined together, as well as the products that are available as a formulation initially, so. Beautiful. Yeah, it's all there. <laughs>